Welcome to today's arm and chest workout. This is an awesome workout for your arms and your chest real quick if you are a premium member on my website you already got early access to this workout so i hope you're feeling special because you are let's jump right into this workout our first warm-up for today is chest expansions you want your toes pointed slightly outward feet wider than hip width apart arms parallel to the floor very good that was good still in that position we're going to do some arm rotations Rotate those arms. Go through your full range of motion. If you need more of a warm up, pause the video, get that in. We're jumping into our first exercise. We're starting this workout with some tricep chops. Your toes should be pointed slightly out, feet slightly wider than hip width wide, and you are going to hammer the floor. If you have a dumbbell, you can hold on to it in this exercise. I will be doing body weight. I recommend you do this exercise as body weight until you get the movement, and then you can add your dumbbell. You're doing good. Keep going. Just lean a little bit. It's like you're doing a quarter lunge as you hammer down toward the floor. That looks so good. Make sure your core is tucked in nice and tight. So good. One move down, one million to go. I'm kidding. Next up, we have snow angels. You want your feet together, slight bend in your knee. And with your arms, you're going to go through your own range of motion. I'm going to talk you through it. Are you ready? Let's go. When your arms go up, your goal is to keep your arms fully extended, no bend in your elbow, and you want to touch the back of your palms together at the top of the movement, the front of your palms at the bottom of the movement. Very beautiful, very elegant. I love that you made the time to work out today. It's never easy to find that time, but you're doing it, so keep going. Give me one more and time. I like it. Next up, we have the Arnold Press. Again, if you have dumbbells, you can hold on to them so you can do the modified version on the right. Otherwise, you can do the body weight version, the I love myself version with me on the left. Make sure your feet are nice and wide, your core is tight, and there's a slight bend in your knee. That looks good. You got it. Keep going, keep going. Raise your arms all the way up. Give me that full range of motion. Beautiful. Keep going. You're doing amazing. Now that you have the movement, really think about the muscles you're working, the muscles in your arm, the muscles in your chest. Engage those muscles. That was beautiful. Next up, we have a sumo arm lift. If you have dumbbells, you can hold on to them. That's the modification you see on the right. Otherwise, do the body weight version with me. You want to be in a sumo squat position, which means your feet are as wide as you can keep them with your toes pointed out. Very good. You're doing amazing. After this, you have one more exercise and then you get a break. Keep going. When you bring your arms down, they should be parallel to the floor. Pay attention to that. Palms open wide. Receive your blessings. And awesome last move before the break we're going to do a flying arm it's so hard to stand still while doing this exercise you don't have to shimmy your waist just stand still if you can are you ready let's go your goal here is simply to keep your arms parallel to the floor that's it so simple but it will challenge you pay attention to your arms somebody get this woman to stay still cannot be done simply cannot be done you want your feet to be together your abs sucked in don't let those arms sag raise them up it burns but you're doing it after this you get a break totally worth it you can clench your fingers that will help you a little bit and good catch your breath while you're catching your breath, I just wanted to quickly mention that on my website, I have planned your whole year of workouts for you. January through December, you never have to think about what workout to do ever again. All the work done for you. You also get access to my booty program. You also get access to my 30-day challenge and my belly fat program, which is launching summer of 2019. All of this is available to you to try for free on kabokofitness.com. So go ahead, check it out. I think you'll be very glad you did welcome back we are jumping into this funny exercise called flat backs you want to sit down on your mat however is comfortable for you all you need to do is make sure your arms are parallel to the floor and you're touching your shoulder blades together in the back 
Get your Flappy Bird on. That looks good. How you're sitting doesn't matter as long as it's comfortable for your body. And just keep those arms parallel to the floor. Palms open wide. Touch those shoulder blades together in the back. I see you when you're dropping it. Dropping it in the club. Maybe not anymore, but back in those days, you used to do that. I know. I know it. That was good. You're going to lay back on your mat now for some chest flies. This is our last move of the day. Really focusing in on those arms and chest muscles. If you have dumbbells, you can hold on to them. That's the modification on the right. Are you ready? Let's go. Keep that slight bend in your knee. Make sure your feet are flat on the mat. Your lower back should be making contact with that mat. Keep your arms extended. Squeeze your chest muscles. Beautiful. Squeeze them. When you're raising your arms up, you should be squeezing your chest muscles. And when you're taking them down, you should be releasing those muscles. You're almost there. It's your last move of the day. And time. That was awesome. So amazing. Thank you for working out with me today. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next workout video.